how to get started with the Wix newsletter. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what we can do in all the elements. So Wix is an amazing place to build almost any kind of website totally for free. Of course, in this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing now into the free version. So if you want to upgrade your Wix, um, I mean, it's totally optional, but in my case, I just want to focus into the free version so we can all agree that there's a few tools that we can use without having to spend any kind of money. So as you can see, I'm into the dashboard of Wix. What you want to do is to go into the Wix.com. Obviously, create an account, sign up, provide an email as well as a passcode, and then you're going to be actually good to go. So you might see that once you have created your account for the very first time, it's going to be looking something like this. So it's going to be asking what kind of website are you creating. So what you want to do is to type the keyword. In our case, let's go for newsletter. So as you can see, we have the newsletter college. We have the newspaper magazine. We have the news blocks, so that totally depends on what is uh, the kind of content you want to upload. For example, news blogs, news producer, uh, news magazine, newspaper illustrator, um, and all that. So if I click here, I want to type into next, and then it's going to be asking for what is the actual name of my business. So let's go for tech news and hit into next. Lastly, it's going to be asking you to, let's say, just to help you to add a few uh, stuffed, a few elements, a few pages into your website. So you don't have to start from scratch. So, for example, I have the chat version, I have the forms, I have blog, pricing plans, and much more. So, since this is a newsletter, I want to disable the chat. I want to leave the form. I want to go into the blog. And here to view more, I can add like an online store, um, I can create some events, I can create a portfolio, I can create add some music, feeds from Instagram, a forum, of course I want to enable this in groups. So after that, I'm going to hit into next. And then as you can see, we're now uh, start to set up our business. So there are two ways that we can do this. What you want to do is to choose the one that best fits for you. Let's say for example, that you want to start with a template or you want to get a custom build site that Wix can be helping you to do that totally for free. Uh, I'm going to go and look out for designer made templates so I can see like a little bit of inspiration. So I'm going to go into begin with template. So it's going to be sending me into all the templates that can be helping me to get started with a newsletter. So as you can see, I have the news blog, I have the business blog. So that's the reason why I told you guys it's really important to, to figure out what is your niche, what is the actual content that you want to get started with. So I think that for my test of good, since I am making some marketing stuff, some marketing newsletter, I want to type into the marketing blog. So if you want to check it out how this actually works, hit into view and you're going to see like there's the actual preview of the template. So we're going to get into the X mark and here's my actual uh, site theme. So as you can see, I can type into work with me. I can type into the blog and see how are the elements um, behaving here between one and, and another one. And I can go in here into contact. And if you kind of like that, you can even change the default theme. For example, I want to change for uh, click and it's going to be changing everything automatically. So there we go. So if you kind of like that, go into use the template and automatically this template is going to be creating the edit section so you can use all the elements that are inside the template so you can start to customize that. So with that being said, we are now into the editor. And lastly, guys, if you remember, we asked Wix to add a few pages for us, depending on what is the actual niche. So this is going to be added automatically inside the template. So we don't have to worry about that. Now, as you can see, I'm here into the left part. I can add different elements. I can add sections. I can add pages and menus, site design, uh, application about my business, media, content management, and much more. And so what I can do is to get started with my actual website. So what I can totally suggest to you if you want to start using a template is to get started with the background content so that you can get a little bit inspired and edit that. I'm going to go into quick edit. And as you can see, I have the section background. I have this stripe background, the strip background, the title, the paragraph, the email field, submission button, and the paragraph. So here what I want to do is to focus into all the stuff that I want to change here. So for example, here into title, I want to delete this. And let's go for the main software that can be helping me to, uh, let's say to advance a little bit more into my newsletter. For example, let's say meta is the future. And lastly, guys, I'm going to leave it like that. And here into strip background, I'm going to hit into changed. And if you don't have any background, you don't have to worry about that. Let's say I want to look out for a video like this and we have different options to create or adding a video so it's going to be popping up the media 
of Wix. So here, for example, let's say that I want to look out for, uh, let's say, artificial intelligence. I click into the answer mark and I have a lot of tools. If you don't want to have media from Wix, you can go into Shutterstock. If you have a premium account, go into the site files or upload your own images. Now, in my case, I don't want to focus now into the upper side. And here, I want to click here. And once I choose my background, you need to change background. And automatically, it's going to be added right away like this. So uh, lastly, guys, what I want to do is to just start to customize the stuff as I am just uh, being creative here. So I'm going to go here back. I can look out for the paragraph. Um, let's say the wig forms here have here the submit button, the paragraph and much more. Now, let's say that I want to add pages. Now, to add more pages, go into pages and menu. And once you clicked in here, what you want to do is to focus into add a new page. Let's say, for example, that you want to start totally from scratch or you want to change your block type. So, for example, here into the block, I'm going to go into the add page and here's my actual block. So, I'm going to go into site menu. This is my block. I'm going to click here and this is my actual block. So, here what I want to do is to import the information about what I want to talk about. Let's say, for example, meta is the future, right? So, I'm going to click here and once again if you want to edit the post if you want to edit what is the actual element you're going to go into manage post and i have the source so i can change the source inside the wix.com which in i think in this case is a source that completely comes with a block so this is why we want to get started with just one block so in order to create a block of course what we want to do is to go into the dashboard and inside the dashboard, we have the block section down below from forum. And here, go into post, and I can create my very first post. So instead of just creating a website, what we want to do is to create a block. And what we want to do after we have this block, let's say, for example, this is a block. I'm going to go for meta is the future. And this is just an example. And just to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add an image just uh, we don't see that there's uh this is like too um too empty so i'm going to go for artificial intelligence once again I'm going to hit into published so if i go back into block i'm going to go into post i'm going to get into the x mark and as you can see here's our our published post so i'm going to hit into the x mark once again and going back here from where it says manage post looks like you don't have any post in this list so as you can see all of this post list is going to be added automatically so as you can see if i create like one two three four different blocks are going to be appearing here into all the different posts now i'm going to go into the uh into the upper side i want to this one this block to be featured into my newsletter like this is like the sensational news of the moment i'm going to go into manage post and automatically it's going to be sending me now once again into the dashboard and inside the vlog section and we have the overview here and i can just use more categorized stuff as we are creating more stuff and the amazing part is that we now have templates inside the blocks if you scroll just a little bit down you can see a start a post with a template so it says for example how to received ultimate guide product review so let's say for example that i want to choose the how to tips as a result this is going to be sending me back into the editor and here, if I type or let's say that I want to navigate through pages and look out for blocked like this, and it's going to be categorized all my blocks. For example, here's Meta the Future. And when it says all your posts, as you can see, here's the blocks that we just added into my newsletter. I think this is like just one way that we can get started into the newsletter. But if you want to get some inspiration, you want to check it out, like which one it's like the best website of your newsletter. And then you don't want to copy and paste, but you want to like take a look into all the elements that are inside that website and integrate that into your custom newsletter so you can see that is actually working or maybe not so with that being said guys this is how we can get started with newsletter and practically anything here into wex.com so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools about the wex and how to create your very first website blog or whatever so thank you so much for watching the video once again guys see you next time